again Last words were spoken So why are you still here? Did you forget To kick me when I was down? Here's your chance This town feels so empty Now I don't believe in anything Gave it all away And what I get in return I got broken I got busted and burned Yeah, and I got Not the first time that that song has appeared on this channel, actually. That's I remembered right. that as we were playing it. I was in a Dig Dug t-shirt playing at the uh, Coyote Country KXLY studios, actually, last time. I don't know if I ever identified that that's where I was, but I was at my job. It was right before we left on a little mini tour or something, right? Where we Maybe. went 2,757 miles? Yes, 2,757. Um, yeah. That song, Broken Busted Burns, the third song on the new album. If you have our... Uh, demo or actually it was a little mini release EP we made a hundred copies of it and that was on there yeah and that's one of the perks for this actual album by the way hi um, I'm Glenn Case and this is Jason Johnson of Buffalo Jones hi and we have an Indiegogo campaign going on as we filming as we're filming this video mm -hmm. uh, by the time you're watching it it may or may not still be going but you should check out the link that's attached to see if that's the case and it, to see if you can help us but uh, please do tell us uh, more about Broken Buster Burn because from what I recall you improvised most of it yeah it was actually we were in our old drummer who's on the album Lennon Von Weller who's an amazing drummer this is actually his favorite song on the album so Oh, is hi, hi Lennon, you'll probably watch this. Yeah. Um, I was in his little basement studio where he recorded 2757, and um, he was setting up mics and waiting around, and I think we we're gonna record Barcelona because it's the same capo position and everything. Oh, sure, sure. And so I just started playing this little riff, and he wanted me to check the vocal mic, and I just actually, in one take, that whole thing just came out um, out of nowhere. All of the vocals just. Yeah, came everything. Out. From that whole song, the, for the two verses and the chorus. Beautiful uh, alliteration in that case. Yeah, I don't know. Broken, what, busted, burned. You I, had alliteration on the fly. It was never rewritten, so I mean, it just there must have been somewhere rattling around in my brain. That's fantastic. Um, I mean, and not the only, and not a completely unprecedented thing for a song. One of the songs that I heard was written that way was "When a Man Loves a Woman" by Percy Sledge, is a song that just came out of him yeah. at one night during a live performance and then they went and recorded it after the fact but like yeah it's how he'd done it was just it's uh yeah it was kind of crazy but i mean it's a good i think it's a fun song it's kind of it's a bummer it's, it's a pretty <laughs> it's a fun bummer it's a fun song to play and we have <laughs> on the album we have a lot of good three-part harmonies with brandon humphreys our lead guitar player absolutely who who we, at some point here one of these one videos, of these videos will, may make an appearance he might he might consider he's yeah. in the other room right now um, actually but no, it, it was. It's a good song. Um, check out the Indiegogo campaign. Um, buy our album. Buy our album. Buy other perks. Buy anything. Just look at it. Read the perks. 
-hmm. If you just want to spend five bucks and hear the whole thing, do it. That's and, fine with us. And if you want to spend zero dollars, just tell your friends. Yeah, spread the word. Tell we, your enemies. Um, we talked about it in previous videos, but yeah, we're just trying to basically, whatever you order, we're going to buy. So um, it's just we're doing this so that we can have the money beforehand before we put it out there to get the CDs made. And regardless of how you look at it, the album will be made. It's actually already done, and if you buy the digital copy of it, or something that includes the digital copy, which I think is every package above $5, yeah. it, then you'll get the MP3s within 24 hours. Generally, it. pretty quick. Like, I, I see the email on my phone, I go in there and I send it. Usually it's within 10-15 minutes, but I mean, you never know what's gonna. I might be on the toilet or uh, yeah. Well, that's especially when you'd send it, right? Yeah, I generally send them from the toilet. Yeah, Even if I don't have to use it, I run in and send it. <laughs> so every every album is from the toilet. <laughs> and on that note, yes. <laughs> thank you for watching, you. and we'll see you next video. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling it's going to get a little even worse than that.